On the docket tonight, the Parkland School Massacre penalty phase. Defendant Nicholas Cruz has already pled guilty to killing 17 people when he opened fire inside Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School back in 2018. Now he faces the prospect of the death penalty for his crimes. Court TV legal correspondent Julia Janae has more on the background of this heartbreaking case. I am very sorry for what I did, and I have to live with it every day. In a stunning turn of events, Nicholas Cruz admitted his guilt in the February 2018 mass shooting at this Parkland, Florida high school. To count one of the indictment, murder in the first degree, how do you wish to plead? Guilty. Even with his guilty plea to 34 counts of murder and attempted murder in October, the case is far from over. And do you understand that the state will still have the opportunity to present testimony and evidence against you at what's called phase two or the penalty phase of the trial? Yes, I do understand. Now a jury will decide if Cruz should be put to death for killing 14 students and three staff members at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. 12 Broward County residents will be asked to weigh aggravating factors or reasons why Cruz should be executed against mitigating factors, reasons why his life should be spared. One of those aggravators is his own guilty plea to attacking a jail guard in 2018. Another, his admission to the shooting massacre. I need to advise you that the state is going to be using this conviction in this case as evidence of an aggravating factor for purposes of arguing in favor of the death penalty. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. It took nearly three months to find a jury for this penalty phase that's expected to last four months. Do you believe you have a scheduling hardship if you were selected to serve on the jury in this case? Seating 12 jurors and 10 alternates was a challenge in a community still haunted by the shooting. Here's what one prospective juror had to say. I live in Parkland. Okay. Uh, my daughter attends Martin Stone and Douglas High School. Okay. And um, I do know someone in my neighborhood who was killed. Okay. So you you can't sit and, and, and listen to this and be fair and impartial. Is that right? Correct. Okay. I, I understand. Prosecutors say there are seven aggravating factors in this case that merit the death penalty. Among them, that this crime was especially heinous, atrocious, or cruel. Two other factors pertain just to victims Christopher Hickson, Aaron Weiss, and Scott Beagle, Stoneman Douglas employees, who prosecutors say were killed while doing their job as public officials. A battle of experts is expected over Cruz's mental health, a key mitigating factor in the defense case. The jury is also expected to visit the building where Cruz rampaged through the hallways after warning a student that things were about to get bad. The building has been closed off as a crime scene ever since, a stark reminder of a grim day that the community is preparing to relive through the penalty phase. There's no way to really prepare for a, a trial of this magnitude. Um, we do know and that he is, uh, he is guilty, he admitted that, but what we're gonna hear presented to our families uh, in detail about what happened on that terrible February day four years ago will be, uh, will be very difficult for us, I'm sure. Opening statements expected to begin Monday morning. You watch it here on Court TV. Still with us to discuss Bernardo Villalona, Ian Freeman, and Dina Sayagdal. Ian, to you first. Death cases, penalty phases of a death case are difficult. And while Nicholas Cruz uh, has admitted and, and pled guilty to the guilt in, in the guilt phase, this jury is still going to have to go through all of it. Correct. I mean, we're going to not just see. Um, a, a quick, you know, uh, a, a quick trial here. They're going to go, there's 17 victims from start to finish. This is going to be arduous for every member of that jury. Yeah, there's no question. It's going to be a trial. It'll be a little different than uh, if it were kind of a who done it, right? Because that's not the case here. I think the easiest way to look at the penalty phase in a death case is you really just look at the brain. And this jury is going to be called upon to ask what is going on in his brain? What is this person made up of? Because in the lead up here, right, we talked about the aggravating factors versus the mitigating factors. So a jury really has to look at every aspect uh, of this person's life. And, 
you know, one of the things that they did when entering the plea is they tried to say, you know, to show, look, he took acceptance for it, look, he's, you know, and put him in the best light possible. He's going to have some difficulty, though, when that tape comes in of him in the violent attack in the jail. I also think that the defense lawyers will keep this as academic as possible. This is going to be, you know, the battle of the experts, no doubt about it. But in listening and getting ready to speak here, one of the things that struck me, and if it strikes me doing this every day, I know it's really going to impact this jury, is the day they walk into the school. And they're really going to feel it. And the heaviness and the, the, the realness of it all uh, is going to be there. This is the absolute most demanding, most grueling task that you can ask of a citizen jury. This is something they will never forget. Uh, and because they are going to look in that brain and they're going to say, uh, does this penalty warrant death? Is it the only way to go? And remember, Ted, if there's only one person who says life is appropriate, then life is the sanction that's going to be imposed. This is going to go on for months, uh, and it's going to be incredibly difficult and complex. Yeah, and Bernardo, there's going to be pressure on these jurors from not only you know the, the sense of community pressure that you get in a big trial like this, but the family members, there's 17 dead, and those family members are going to fill this courtroom. Um, uh, it's going to be something else. Absolutely. This uh, death penalty stage is going to be a trial like no other. Those jurors are going to be impacted not only by what is being said on the stand, but also by the faces of the family members and the community that are going to be sitting in the courtroom every day. Day, listening to every word that is being said. So while these families were saved from a trial in order to determine his guilt, they are still going to undergo another trial. And that trial will probably even be more severe when we're talking about the death penalty. And those jurors are going to have to reach a decision unanimously. It has to be all 12 of them to determine that whether Nicholas Cruz for killing 17 people, whether he deserves the death penalty or whether it's life without the possibility of parole. The length of trial, Dina, is going to, one would think, um, help the prosecution because of all of the 17 stories they're gonna hear. But on the other hand, a long trial, it means you're in the same room of a person that you're being tasked to whether to decide or they're gonna live or die with four months. And there's going to be a relationship built between this jury and Nicholas Cruz just by staring at the guy. I mean, it's, I think that's a great point and it's possible, except for the, how heinous this crime is. I mean, like, to everyone else's point, they were going to see a lot of evidence that's going to be a constant reminder of how he really just, you know, preyed on these completely vulnerable and defenseless children. And I have seen people get the death penalty and particularly in Florida for a lot less. So he, his defense has really an uphill battle. They're probably going to, in addition to mental health, really talk about how young he is. You know, he was 19 at the time this happened. If he had been under 18, you know, under law, he could not have even been subjected to the death penalty. So I think we'll hear that a lot, how he's young and there's a chance for redemption, but I just, you know, based on this, how heinous this crime is, I think that's really going to be an uphill battle for the defense. Yeah, the, the death penalty is on the books in the state of Florida. The voters have put it there, and this seems to be a case where uh, it would be likely implemented, but we'll watch it play out, and uh, it's going to be fascinating and actually uh, an absolutely heartbreaking opening statements in the Parkland School Massacre penalty phase set to begin on Monday. Court City cameras are inside that courtroom and we will bring you every moment of it.